Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today I wanted to do a little video on a new router I recently purchased. This is the J-Link Dual Band Mesh Wi-Fi 6 router, model number AX1800. Now, I was originally looking for a wireless range extender or repeater because I was getting very poor connections between my main router, which is in the bedroom, to one of my smart TVs, to my main smart TV in the living room. Now, I was having a lot of trouble connecting to the 5 gigahertz band, and on the 2.4 gigahertz band, I was only getting speeds of anywhere between 1.8 megabytes per second to maximum of 20 megabytes per second, but it usually was an average of like eight or nine megabytes per second, which sometimes was not even enough for 1080p. Uh, now, the distance between the main router and this smart TV in the living room is about 35 feet. And this smart TV, I have, I have it connected to a Fire Stick and the TV also has Android, but I like using the Fire Stick uh, 4K much better. So I've been using that, and that does do a speed test, and the speeds were just very, very poor. Now, in looking at the available uh, options out there, I was originally looking for a repeater or an extender. And the prices for those are between like $20 to $30. Of course, some are a little bit more, some are a little bit less, but they are usually sold in the range of $20 to $30. Then I noticed this J-Link Wi-Fi 6 router, and I thought, you know, this looks kind of interesting because the price uh, at the time was around $30 or so, $30, $35. Uh, it lists for $49.99, but of course it won't be sold at that price. Uh, then I noticed very recently that not only was it $29.99, but they also gave a 20% coupon at checkout. So that brought the price of this router down to $23.99. So for $24 for a Wi-Fi 6 router I, that can also... Uh, double as a repeater, I thought that was a pretty good deal because these routers can also uh, go into repeater mode or bridge mode or access point mode. So that was a really good deal, I thought. And I also have a uh, laptop that I purchased back in April, a gaming laptop uh, from MSI that does have Wi-Fi 6. So I thought this would be a good chance to... Uh, purchase a Wi-Fi 6 router, even though it's a very basic one, and see, you know, how it goes. Now, I did buy this with the intention of using it basically as a repeater, and after looking at the various features of this, I did decide to leave my main router in place from Optimum for now, and use this as a repeater. So, let's take a look at the specifications of this router, and then we'll take a look at the router itself and how well it performs. So let's take a look at the specifications of this router. The product name is Dual Band Mesh Wi-Fi 6 Router. The brand is J-Link. And I never heard of this brand before, so it's a bit of an unknown. Uh, pu publicity model, UDS-R1. Scope of application, up to 1,700 square feet. Number of connected devices, up to 128 devices. Standard AX1800, up to 1.8 gigabytes per second. External power supply, DC 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Wireless, 1,201 megabytes per second. That's on the 5 gigahertz 11AX band. Uh, plus 574 megabytes per second. That's on the 2.4 gigahertz 11AX band. Compatible with... 11A, B, G, N, A, C, Wi-Fi standards, Ethernet ports, 1 gigabit WAN port, 3 gigabit LAN ports, frequency 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, antennas, 4 external antennas, environment, 
32 Fahrenheit to about 104 Fahrenheit. Operating humidity, 10% to 90% non-condensing. Package contents, wireless router, power adapter, RJ45 Ethernet cable, and a quick installation guide. And this is manufactured by Union Man Technology Company in China. So those are the specifications of this router. Now the router did also come in a very nice box. Uh, so it was a nice presentation. And for, I think, the price, you know, the box was pretty well uh, designed and well constructed. So I just wanted to say that. So let's take a look at the quick installation guide for the AX1800 dual band Wi-Fi 6 router. Now the top of the router has an indicator light. So the color is its display status. Uh, it says here, extinguish. I guess when it means when it's out, when there's no light, that means that there's no power or an equipment failure. A long red light, normal power on and no internet connection. A long blue light means that it's powered on and there is a connection to the internet. When the equipment is just turned on or when it is just connected to an operator network, the indicator will still light up in red. The network is still unavailable at this time. In this case, you need to set the router according to the method described below. When the networking is successful, the indicator light will turn blue. So as we will see on the router itself, a blue light means that the router is definitely connected to the internet. So on the back of the router, there is a power connector, a power port, one WAN port that would connect usually to the modem, and three LAN ports, which would connect to other ethernet connected devices. And there's a reset button. And so the other page, the second page here, shows how you will connect it to your power supply. Now, the router does have its password and router name on the bottom of the router itself. And these pages do show you how to connect to the router. You have to search for it uh, in your internet settings. Once you find it, you connect to it by putting in the password and then you can connect to it by putting into a browser 192.168.10.1 and then you will be able to change the settings as you like. So these pages show how to uh, change the uh, settings to either a static IP, a PPPoE, or bridge mode. And these pages show how to connect as a repeater. You can scan for both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band. Enter the password of the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network that you want to connect to, and it will automatically connect. Now, the instructions do have two sets of instructions on setting it up either on your phone or on your computer. The previous instructions were for doing it on your phone. And these instructions are basically the same thing, but it shows you how to do it on a computer via a website using Google Chrome or uh, Edge or whatever browser you use. But it's basically the same. I tried it on both and it looks you know, identical to one another. So here we have the router itself. It measures approximately five inches by seven and a half inches at its widest point in the middle, and it's about one and a quarter inches high. It does have that blue light in the middle, which means that it is connected to the internet, and I still have not taken that sticker off of it, so that I have to do soon, but as you can see, there's a steady blue light, meaning that it is connected online. Now it does have four antennas, and those antennas can be placed in a vertical or horizontal position. Now I do have it on top of my 
Lost in Space B9 robot box because the higher you put it, the better the signal will be. And I had it previously on just on the top of this little table, but the signal was not all uh, that it could be. It was not at 100% strength. So I put it up a little bit higher on this box and I was getting full strength after that. And the TV, as you can see, is all the way in there. So it's pointed towards the television. Now, just as a comparison, this is the main router that I am using from Optimum. This is a Sagecom router. And as you can see, it has multiple status indicator lights. Uh, so it has six lights on the top that shows you what's in operation at the moment. Whereas the J-Link router only has one status indicator light. So that is definitely a difference between the two. Uh, I think this is a little bit better because it tells you exactly what is going on. And you can see that it is connected to the internet. It's connected to uh, ethernet. Uh, the WPS is on, the power is on. Uh, it also has a USB port, which the J-Link does not have. So that's another thing to take into consideration. If you want to have a, a hard drive or a printer that connects to all computers, the J-Link probably is not the router for you. So there is a difference between what your cable company will give you and a cheap router such as the J-Link router. And the Sagecom router from Optimum also has uh, more LAN ports. It has four ports compared to the three for the J-Link router. And plus it also has the status indicator lights on the back, which the J-Link does not have. Now, a couple more issues about this router. You can change the name of the J-Link router to your main router so that they are both the same. And that, of course, comes in handy when you use this as a main router, whereby you don't have to uh, input a new router name for all of your wireless devices. So that's good. Uh, a second issue here is that when you are logged out of the website for the J-Link router. And like if it times out, like I had logged in, but I forgot to log out and then it times itself out. After a while, it will automatically log out. You see something about China Telecom uh, or China Mobile. And so that got me a little bit iffy about using it as a main router because there may be some security issues here. So I was a little concerned about using it as a main router after seeing that. Uh, I don't know if this router has a firewall. Uh, the router from Optimum does. So that's another uh, issue to take into consideration if you purchase this to use as a main router. But as I'm using it as a repeater, I don't think I'll have that issue because everything is coming through the Optimum router. And also, if the Optimum router ever goes out, I do have this router as a backup. Uh, it has the newest technologies. So if that router ever goes kaput on me, I could always connect this one and use this temporarily as a main router. So it's a good uh, backup to have, I guess, temporarily. So here we have the TV now on the Fire Stick. So let's go into the settings to take a look at the network connections here. So let's go into network. So it is connected to the J-Link 5 gigahertz router and let's go into the settings to check the network status so I recently did a speed test and it was 151.24 megabytes per second that was yesterday so let's try it again today So 
hopefully in a second or two, we will have the results of the network download speed test. Okay, very good. The internet speed is 162.57 megabytes per second. I mean, this is really, really great. This is just so much better than what I was getting before without the new router working as a repeater. I mean, this is just so much better than getting 1.8 megabytes per second uh, using 2.4 gigahertz, and I could really hardly connect to the 5 gigahertz router. So this is just a really, really fantastic uh, upgrade for, you know, very little money. So I am happy that this is working as planned. Now, in conclusion, is this J-Link Wi-Fi 6 router worth the $24 that I paid for it? I would say definitely yes, because not only is it a router, but it also doubles as a repeater or as an access point or a bridge. So I would say that yes, it's definitely worth that money. Now, I could have bought a repeater or an extender uh, and paid the same amount of money and it would only would have been a repeater or, ex or an extender and it may not, may not have had the same features as the router has. And as I said, I can also use this as a router if absolutely necessary. Now, I don't know what real improvement I will get with Wi-Fi 6 since I only have one uh, device that's Wi-Fi 6 capable at the moment. And I often use that wired uh, into the router when I do a lot of, you know, real, you know, intense work on the internet. And a Wi-Fi 6 router does not increase speed. I know it can increase the amount of data going back and forth, but it does not increase your speed on the internet. Now, this router, as I said, may have some security concerns to it. I don't think it has a built-in firewall. And as I said previously, when I was automatically logged out of the router settings, I did see something on the screen of my phone about China Telecom or China Mobile. And so that gave me some concerns about using it uh, as a router. Uh, the optimum router that I have does have a built-in firewall, but this probably does not. So if you do not have good security software on your computer uh, that you pay for, then you may think twice about using this uh, as a main router. I'm just using the Microsoft supplied uh, security and firewall. I am not using Norton or anything else like that. So uh, you may think twice about using it as a main router if you don't have really good security software on your computer. Again, maybe Maybe it won't be a problem, but uh, I'm not too sure I'd risk it using it every day as a normal router. So, in conclusion, I hope you enjoyed this look at the J-Link Dual Band Mesh Wi-Fi 6 router. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.